Hey guys, Bill Seamantel, BBZ TV. We're up here at uh, Great Bear Lake Plumber's Lodges. A lot of guys are asking how I set up my rig, Derek and I, for trolling the uh, spoons, the aperture spoons, or the flat fish or anything else. So I'm going to show you real quick. Key is 65 pound Maxima Ultra Green braid. And then I'm doing a top shot of the Maxima Ultra Green and 40 pound test. Okay. You got to really be able to tighten this knot up well so it doesn't fell on you. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. This is going to be a double Albright. So first thing, you're going to check your mono and you're going to pinch it over. And when you pinch it over, that little bite right there, the key is, you want to pinch it down and you want to crease it because that's the one that's going to be pulled into for the double Albright. You don't want it rounded because when you tighten it up, it's too fluffy pretty much and you're not going to get a tight knot on it so that's the first key of building a good double Albright on this with 65 pound and 40 I'm going to do six up and six back so knot goes through line goes through I'm going to do six and as I'm doing the six I'm really tightening up that knot to the line as it rotates around four five six and I'm kind of keeping it as tight as possible because I don't want a sloppy knot when it kind of pinches all together. I'm going to pinch it with my fingers. I'm going to wrap six forward now and see what happens is those wraps are on top of the first initial six. They're not spacing in between of it. So now I'm going to get a real nice tight knot. So I'm going to do that six and the key on this is you got to see which way you came in through the monofilament. You're going to grab your tag end of your braid and you want to go back and follow right back through that that knot now I've been doing this knot since 2005 basically after we did the video so you see the knot right there you wet it and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this forward as I pull the tag in the, the mono I'm gonna push it forward to get a really nice tight knot now the key is is cinching that thing down you want to wrap your hands three or four times with the braid three or four times with the mono and you you're you're pulling that and what you want to do is you want to cinch where you pinch that mono you want to make sure it bites and goes down into that cocoon of braid that's a good knot it won't slip on you it lasts a long time come over here cut your braid I leave a little tag in on the braid because that's going to flare up and then the mono I cut as close as possible because that's the one that's going to shoot through the guides and I come up here with the little boomerang clippers get right there and I have a close cut right here that is the perfect double Albright knot it's never going to fail it's just an incredible thing so okay guys so now since we got the double Albright tied I have three or four foot of the 40 pound Maxima Ultra Green and on this we're tying right directly to this bro barrel swivel with the cross lock snap we're going to go in and we're going to do a simple San Diego jam knot I'm going to go through let the lure hang like this take this hand with the running line the main line you take the bitter end you come over you grab it so it creates a little like upside down end or backwards end and I'm going to wrap downwards on this knot with 40 pound test I'm just going to do five loops that's all you need to do come around three four five you take the bitter end you go through the, the loop you made up on the top end like that cinch it together wet it and that should slide right down onto your ring and you pull it real tight to make sure it locks in you come over here and you cut you tag in. So that's a complete system for doing the uh, Eppinger spoons up here for lake trout, but this will work on any type of fishing you do where you're doing a splice from braid to mono and tying it onto your lure. Cool thing is, damn little boomerang clippers. These things are killer. I love them. So hopefully the guys enjoy this. Um, practice your knots. The faster you can do it, the faster you get back on the water and start catching more fish. So. Hope you guys enjoy this. We'll catch you next time out on the water.